Hey guys, El Clásico is coming this Saturday and we are not at the Camp Nou. Why? Because we are at the beach. Because, yes, obviously we are enjoying the sun. It feels already like summer, so we are here to leave the preview of the match between Barcelona and Real Madrid to leave El Clásico. So let's get to it. We're going to start talking about how we get to El Clásico, how we arrive to this match, to this important match, the most important match of the season. We want to win this thing because obviously we want to dedicate this uh, victory to Johan Cruyff. He passed away some days ago and we want to dedicate him. There is going to be a, a, a good memorial in the stadium, they're going to put a video also, so there is going to be great to win this game too. Obviously, dedicate to Johan Cruyff but also to get very on top in La Liga because we are really good, now we are 12 points away Real Madrid and we want to extend that, that distance, so we are going to go for it. And then, obviously, if we win against Real Madrid, we are going to reach 92 victories against them in El Clásico, so we are going to get in the same position as them. They have also 92 wins against us, so this is going to be great for us. So let's uh, talk how we get to the Clásico. We get with 39 victories, we are in a top shape, and also we have the MSN, Messi, Suarez and Neymar, the big stars. We have a great team in the midfield with Iniesta, with Rakitic, with Busquets, with Sergi Roberto when he plays there, with Arda Turan. But uh, we are, these, these games, you know, that they are different. They are not, Real Madrid is not coming in the best shape, but uh, Clásicos are a game that is uh, a game for its own. It's not, uh, it doesn't matter how you get to a Clásico. There are 90 minutes and you have to give it all to get the victory. So we are going to connect with Tim now because Tim is in Germany. He couldn't be here today in Barcelona, but he's coming to El Clásico. So relax, guys. He's going to be here Saturday. He's going to be with the Frank Camps in English. So he's going to be here. But now we're going to connect on Skype. Tim, how you see Barca and how you see Real Madrid for this game? Well guys from Long Nation, hello Juan, I'm here in the airport in Munich waiting for my flight to go back to Barcelona and enjoy with you on Saturday that amazing game. But I don't think it's going to be that easy at in Santiago Bernabeu because now they have Zidane, they don't have Benitez and they, th they might play a little bit more aggressive. So maybe if Zidane puts his defensive line a little bit more in the front, we can surprise them with counter-attacks. Because counter-attacks are not our type of game, so we can surprise them with that. We have the great wings like Neymar in the left, he's so fast, good dribbler and with his magic he can go through anyone. And then Messi in, uh, in the right side, he can also surprise anyone and be in the area any moment. And then in the center, Luis Suarez to destroy Kaylor Navas, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully they play a little bit more aggressive, more in the front and we can surprise them with color attacks. In the midfield, be careful because Modric and Kroos, they're totally fit, they're totally ready. Kroos did a great games with Germany, two goals in two games, so if we can control the ball in the midfield, that would be awesome to be more relaxed. And then be careful with Cristiano Ronaldo, Benzema, Bale, because they can all, always scare us a little bit. And Bale, yeah, he's ready for Barca, and if Jordi Alba is not fit, I don't know who's going to stop him, because we trust Jordi Alba for that, but who else can stop Gareth Bale? We'll see what happens. Okay, team, okay. But we need to prepare a great lineup for this game, because obviously, it's the most important game, as we said, and we need to be with the Gala team, with the, the best team we have. So I'm going to go in the goalie with Bravo, then I'm going to go, obviously Bravo is, is a goalkeeper in La Liga, then I'm going to go with Dani Alves. He has a lot of confidence in that position to fight against Cristiano Ronaldo, so he has a lot of experience, so I'm going to choose Dani Alves. Then I'm going to play with Piqué and with Mascherano, and in the other, uh, in the other side I'm going to play with Jordi Alba. He, if he's in doubt if he's going to be there in the Clásico, if he's going to get to the Clásico because he has a minor injury in his ankle, but I think he's going to be there, so I trust he's going to reach the Clásico and he is going to play in my starting lineup. Then in the midfield I'm going to play with Sergi Busquets, with Iniesta and with Rakitic. This, I'm not going to change this because I think that the key of this game is to control the midfield, to control the possession and there we are going to have the chances for the attackers. And obviously in the attack, who is going to play? Messi, Suarez, Neymar, MSN, the cracks of the team, the most important players we have. They are going to be the, the other key of the, of the game, controlling the midfield and obviously having the options for the people in the front, for Messi, Suarez and Neymar. 
So that's my starting lineup, but I want to hear also from you, Tim, what's yours? Well, my lineup is very similar like yours, Juan. In the goal will be Claudio Bravo, center backs PK Mascherano, right back also Dani Alves because I think he has more experience to stop Cristiano Ronaldo. But left back, in case Jordi Alba is not there, I will go with Sergi Roberto. In the midfield, the best ones we have Rakitic, Iniesta, and Busquets. And there's no discussion for the front. We're gonna go with the MSN to score maybe four or five goals. Yes, that's my prediction. Five nil. Another manitas to say bye bye to La Liga. So Madrid can say bye bye. That's it. If Barca wins, it's over. Five nil. Mm, three goals from Suarez, one from Messi or Neymar, and one from Piquet, of course. That's always good to watch. So see you very soon and let's enjoy that Clásico. That's a good prediction, team, but I am going to change it a little bit. I'm going to go with a 3-2. I think that it's going to be a tough game, that it's going to be difficult for us. I think that we are going to start winning, then they are going to tie, then we are going to win again. But I think that Messi, Suarez, Neymar, they are going to be the scorers of the, of the team. So I think we are going to win this thing. 3-2 is my prediction. But also, guys, I want to hear about you. So leave your comments here below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. We are everywhere. We're Barca Place. See you soon. See you on Saturday in El Clásico. Bye-bye. Visca el Barça.